supposed to be a hobby. It is. It can't be. Hobbies are supposed to be fun. This is hard work. Well, it's all in the way you look at it, I guess. But it's going to be worthwhile once these pretty flowers start coming up. Maybe we can get a little help. Gee, this is awfully strenuous work. Isn't it, Bobby Joe? Terrible. I'm about to pass out from exhaustion. Oh, I just hope I don't keel over. A oh. girl shouldn't work like this out in the sun. We shouldn't? Well, what would you suggest, Uncle Joe? Take advantage of the shade in back of the hotel. Hey, we never thought of that. Yeah, the vegetable garden back there could use some weeding. <laughs> After all these years, we should have known. <laughs> okay, you guys, let's get with it. trained. How about teaching you to iron? <laughs> and not to be outdone, how about doing the dishes? <laughs> oh, you think you could handle it, eh? No, oh, I know you. You just lick them clean and let it go at that. <laughs> Why don't you guys go out and play? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> oh, you want one of these? Monkeys like apples. I guess they do. You want one too? Even if I did give you an apple, how would you hold it? Why don't you give dog a biscuit? Now you may go out and play. Billy Joe, mm -hmm. how about knocking it off for the day? You mean quit now? Yeah. Boy, you sure do have a lot of Uncle Joe in you. <laughs> well, oh, we don't have that much more to do. Come on, let's finish it off and get it over with. Oh, no, stop that! <laughs> Everything's going to have to be done over again. It's hard enough keeping up with Kathy Joan or washing, even when everything is going right. Well, we give you a hand, but we've got to get back to work. How's the garden coming? It's just about finished. I'll come around and take a look when I get this done. Okay. See you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> For nothing. Well, we're going to do something about it. Uncle Joe! Uncle Joe! Look over there. <laughs> now, we know you didn't pull up that plant. You know better. Yeah. You're just doing that to keep your pal from taking all the blame. <laughs> you girls want me? We sure do. Come on down here. Now, just look at that. 
What's the matter? Did you get tired? I thought you'd have them all planted by now. <laughs> Joe, we did have them all planted. The monkey pulled them up. He did? Yes, he did. He wrecked everything. Well, he is kind of a playful little rascal. <laughs> well, you may think he's playful, but we don't think he's amusing at all. And Betty Jo doesn't think so either after what he did to her laundry. Stop, you come back here. Stop, I said. The girl, head him off. Well, I'll go this way. <laughs> I will say this, little fellow's livening up the old place since he's been here. You can say that again. Here to go, Junction. We'll... Then it's agreed. We have to do something about that monkey and fast, right? Oh, right. right. Well, Betty Joe, I think it's mainly up to you. After all, Joe did give the monkey to the baby for a birthday present. I know. That's what makes it so difficult. Somebody will just have to tell Uncle Joe the monkey has to go. Well, that isn't going to be easy. Joe and the monkey have become very palsy wellsy. Yeah, but we certainly can't have another day like today. Oh, you can say no. that again. Absolutely not. Well, then it all boils down to who's going to tell Joe. Any volunteers? You volunteer? Yeah, I volunteer Steve. <laughs> oh, now, just a minute. Steve wasn't even mixed up in it. I know, but it seems more like a man-to-man -man thing. Yeah, but who's going to tell Steve that he has to talk to Uncle Joe? Oh, that's simple. The person the closest to him should. Thanks a chunk. <laughs> well, of course, if you're afraid to talk to him because he's such a meanie, such a beast, such a monster. So I'll talk to him, I'll talk to him. Hi, darling. Hi. What kind of day did you have? Good, I hope? No, it wasn't bad. Well, it was fine until you added that good, I hope. What's wrong? There has to be something wrong. Well, you've kind of got that I'm overdrawn at the bank look. Oh, it's nothing like that. Let's see, the last time you had this look was when you donated my bowling ball to the church rummage sale. You aren't even close. It has to do with the monkey. He donated my bowling ball to the church rummage sale? Well, that could be next. That's why I wanted to head you off before you talk to Uncle Joe. Now, before you go fishing, you got to get some bait. And right here's my favorite spot. <laughs> oh, you should have been here today. It was awful, just awful. Honey, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Hmm? Well, that's why husbands go out and get themselves jobs. You see, that way they don't have to stay around the house and go through those awful days that your wives go through. <laughs> Keep that up, and you'll be sleeping outside with the monkey tonight. <laughs> I'm kidding. Well, it all started this morning. I went out to take in the washing, and there was the monkey playing on the clothesline and throwing all the clean clothes to the ground. Yeah, I can see where that would lose him a few points. <laughs> and look at this. He got into the new garden Billy Joe and Bobby Joe were planning, and now it looks like a disaster area. <laughs> he was a busy little guy, wasn't he? And then... There's more? Oh, this is the topper. He got into Janet's surgical instruments and started running away with them. Well, you wouldn't believe what we went through today. Well, what do you want me to do? Sit down and have a heart-to-heart -heart talk with the monkey? I want you to talk Uncle Joe into getting rid of him. Why Uncle Joe? He originally bought the monkey for Kathy Joe's birthday present. I know, but he's become so attached to him. they become real buddies, especially since Uncle Joe's taught him how to fetch his slippers and carry wood and bring in the newspaper. <laughs> With the lures I've got, we've got more than enough bait. <laughs> that's quite a combination. Yeah, that's a little combination that you want me to break up. Well, we've got to do something. We can't go through another day like today. <laughs> Joe must be having good luck. He didn't even make it home in time for dinner. 
Oh, no. He had his dinner before he left, and he asked us to save him more for when he gets back. That is what Well, that must be Uncle Joe now. And Steve, I want you to talk to him about the monkey right now and get it out of the way. Only well, if you don't mind, I think I'll wait until after he finishes his second dinner. <laughs> hey, Joe, looks like you did all right. This is only part of it. Are you trying to tell us that he... I sure am. This is only his first time he's already a better fisherman than Sam Drucker. <laughs> you remember our deal. You clean your fish, I clean mine. And from what Janet and the girls tell me, it's been a pretty hectic day around here. Yeah, I guess the little fella is quite a live wire. <laughs> Maybe too much of a live wire for the shady rest. What do you mean? Well... The girls feel, and I'm inclined to agree, that we ought to get rid of the monkey. Get rid of him? Ah, uh, Joe, I realize that you gave him to Kathy Joe for a birthday gift, and it was a very nice gesture. Well, where were we taking him? Well, how about back to the pet shop where you got him? Oh, he wouldn't like that. All cooped up, he's got to have room to run around. <sighs> kind of have grown attached to him, haven't you? Well, we have gotten pretty friendly. We see eye to eye on a lot of things. Well, the important thing is we've got to find a good home for him. Well, that's the only way I'd let him go. Hey, how about the children's zoo over in Riverdale? Zoo? Well, he'd have plenty of room to run around. Yeah, yeah, I guess it wouldn't be too bad. And they'd be good to him, too, Joe. Yeah. What do you say? Okay. I'll take him over there tomorrow. <laughs> you wonder why I'm so attached to him. Have a good day. Thanks. Hey, want to give your old man a kiss? <laughs> There you go. Uh, I hope you have a better day than yesterday. Oh, I'm dreading the departure, but after we get by that, we'll be okay. <laughs> Janet? Bobby Joe? Billy Joe? You guys have to all show up. What do you mean? Well, it's tough enough leaving, but when we're all around saying goodbye, or... Well, then we'll make it as painless as possible. Goodbye. <laughs> goodbye, little guy. Bye. Say goodbye to Kathy Joe. <laughs> bear to see him leave. I'll bet a psychiatrist would say we're all wrong. About what, Uncle Joe? Taking a pet away from a young baby like that. It might scar Kathy Joe for the rest of her life. <laughs> Maybe we ought to keep him. Uh, there's the cannonball, Joe. Yeah. Some. Joe, when are you two going to start wearing father and son suits? <laughs> Sam, this is no time for wisecracks. Well, what's up? I'm taking him over to the children's zoo in Riverdale. Well, that's nice of you, Joe. You're going to let him ride the merry-go-round, too? Buy him some cotton candy? <laughs> I'm taking him over to the zoo, and I'm leaving him there. Oh? How come you're getting rid of him? Oh, it's their idea down at the Shady Rest. I don't know what they're thinking of. I think I do. <laughs> You know, I'd take that away from you, but I can't blame you after hanging around him. <laughs> hey, there's Andy's jitney. 
Yeah. Come on, let's go. Good luck. We'll come see you during visiting hours. <laughs> Take you long, Joe. How'd the little guy like the zoo? I didn't get him to the zoo. What? Just as I was taking him in, he broke away from me and took off. No kidding. Yeah, I took after him, but he got away. No telling where he'll end up now. Well, he probably suspected something was up. You know he did. He's the smartest some humans I know. Smarter. <laughs> Personally. It's just that he's so mischievous. Yeah, but that was when he first came. He was a stranger then. Uncle Joe, we have a hotel to run. We can't afford having him get into all this trouble. All right, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll make a deal with you. The next time he gets in trouble, I'll personally get rid of him. Uncle Joe! Uncle Joe! Look what he's got! Hey, that's my brand new fish line. Come here, you little thief. <laughs> How about some fine imported lace handkerchiefs at 50 cents a dozen? 50 cents a dozen? Well, they're only imported from Chicago. <laughs> oh. Oh, what's the matter? Take an ad, Sam. A paid ad? Yeah, yeah, I'll pay for it. Well, this is serious. <laughs> okay, what is it? Wanted. Good home for trained chimp. No charge to family who will offer tender, loving care. Really going to do it, huh? Yeah, I really am. But if he's so well trained and knows so many tricks and is so good with kids... Sam, will you stop trying to break my heart and just write the ad? I beg your pardon. I couldn't help but overhear. Uh, you want to give away a real live chimp? That's right. Uh, one that really does tricks like a... Well, like a chimp? Like a human. <laughs> well, say now, are you in luck? Huh? I just happen to be one of the great animal lovers of all time. Uh, right, Mr. Drucker? All right. Oh, well, that's right. You don't know me that well. Well, I am. As a matter of fact, this uh, selling business is just a sideline. Uh, well, it ought to be. Joe, did you ever hear of imported handkerchiefs selling? You mean you're really interested in having the chimp? Well, you just bet your bottom. You did say giveaway. Dollar, I am. <laughs> Give him a good home? Oh, yes, the finest of care. Big yard, flowers, children, swing. Really? Uh, Joe, I don't know about this fella. I kind of think... Mr. Drucker, we're only business acquaintances. How could you possibly know what's in here? Well, I... Man's right, Sam. Who'd have thought I'd be a sucker for a monkey? <laughs> Joe, in your present state, I won't take advantage of an opening like that. <laughs> you really love that little fella? Like a father. Hey, gentlemen, I wonder if I might use your telephone hey. in private. You want us to step outside? Well, yes, well, you see, I have to call my wife and tell her. So? Well, you know how it is with wives and families. Sometimes you have to sort of talk them into things. I mean, they don't always have it like we do. Yeah, I know what you mean. Come on, Sam. Uh, yeah, but stepping outside my own store. Come on. <laughs> Operator, I want to place the collect call to Chicago. Uh, Mr. Leroy Tipton. Yeah. Joe, like I say, I don't know too much about this guy. I gotta take a chance, Sam. I promised him I'd find him a home. You promised a chimp? In so many words? <laughs> so all I want to know is, can you sell him for me? Hmm? I don't care where, I just want to make a fast buck. Right. You can? 
Good, I'll have them there tomorrow. Everything okay? Oh, yes. And the children are so happy. <laughs> Be sure and take care of the little fella. Sure. Bye, little guy. It's been nice knowing you. <laughs> you can find time, right? It's a lot. So long. See ya. Bye. better off, Uncle Joe. It sounds like he's getting a good home. Yeah, I guess so. This weekend, join the celebration on a very special holiday edition of the Wonders of TV Land. With Andy Williams, Sonny and Cher, Fat Boom, rare star-studded Christmas specials, perfect for the whole family. This Saturday and Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 Pacific, on the Wonders of TV Land. Now stay tuned for Green Acres, next on Nick at Night's TV Land. Petticoat Junction.